The Louisville Cardinals, 2-10 and 10 last year, 0-8, and, and boy, that was some quitting-ass quitting last year. Holy crap. Um, yeah, five offensive starters return, nine defensive starters are back. Experience-wise, number one in the conference, number 14 in the country, their over-under is three and a half. The over the juice on it, minus 125. The under, plus 105. Scott Satterfield comes in, 51 and 24 in six years at Appalachian State. Uh, he faces a multi-year rebuild of talent and attitude. And look, when Petrino left, I mean, he burned it down, right? Just everything came down. Quarterback Malik Cunningham may have the advantage uh, as a as more of a runner, um, because that's what Satterfield likes to do. I mean, at, at Appalachian State, the quarterback ran 92 times last year, had 10 touchdowns. Like, wide receiver Des Fitzpatrick is legit. He's just going to have somebody to get him the ball. Uh, Puma Pass is still there. He's a senior this year. But even though he's, like, the better thrower between him and Cunningham, Pass is not much of a runner. He only, I mean, I think his completion percentage was, like, 54% last year. Not great. Now, he could end up winning the job, but... We'll see. Um, defense coordinator Brian Brown, fourth DC in four years there. They had the number 128 scoring defense in the country last season. Ten starters could return. Not a one of them is guaranteed their spot. They right? shouldn't be. No, they shouldn't be. Uh, the winnable games are all on the road. The most difficult games are at home. That does not lead to good things. Nope. Um, I mean, it, it, in 2018, they underachieved against the spread by an average of 17 and a half points. In the last like four or five games, they underachieved by over 21 points per game. Underachieved the spread yep. by 21 points per game. Like this team quit. quit. And all those quitters are back. Number and one in the conference on not, returning not all, all of those them, guys. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And that's the thing. Like when Petrino leaves, like there's two different phases, right? It's like you First, you have to come in and like figure out how to change the culture, and then you have to like run off some of the guys, etc. Like I've got Louisville at two and ten. I got them two and ten again. I, you said multi-year rebuild. I couldn't believe he took this job. I know that 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 Appalachian State had become a national power in their own right in like that level of football, but. There's no and, and yet like the goal is to get to a power five job, man. There's gonna be power five jobs opening yeah. that are so much better for this. Just next year, just wait till this year. One more year at App State, continue to dominate, continue to grow. Because and App to, State's and to, got and to kill it. They're the favorite again in right. uh, uh, in the Sun Belt. That's right. And and you continue to grow, you continue to kill it, and then just wait for something better. Because that I wouldn't have wanted this job. This is a this is a really hard rebuild. Yeah. I, I guess you got to give the guy props for saying I'm going to go do something. I'm going to do something well, hard. I, I will. I will tell you this. Um, just taking it from the ground up, like yes, it is difficult, but he has done that. Like he he knows True. how to do that. And if you've got a president and an administration that is fully behind you. Absolutely. Well, I think it's a good job for him. You, because you might be right on that. I didn't think of that. Yeah. There are some people that just like to build. Yeah. They're, I mean, they just, they want to take over a train wreck because I mean, then Dave they get Clawson, to... Dave Clawson, like yeah, he's, and they we'll get, talk about they Wake get, Forest. They but. get to build it in their own image and they get yeah. to build it the way they want. And, and Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I just think there was not too long ago where Louisville was being in the consideration for national championships. Was two years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, Like it, Lamar Jackson... Heisman Trophy and what was it? 2016, where they were like yes, number three in the, in the country, and then they go to Houston and get blasted. That's, yep. Like, and it's, it's just, just one of those things where I, man, I think it's going to take something special to ever get back there. But I don't know that you have to. If you can get to six and six and seven and five every year and well, be I relevant mean, they, in they, the conference, you're you're going to get to a point where they because they can get talent. Right? Oh yeah. And they, yeah. So they can go nine and three, ten and two sometimes, but I don't think you can do that. No, all the time. They won't Not be in the teams. ACC. No, they'll they'll be one of those teams where every four years they'll have that one recruiting class that that was great. Yes, and those guys become juniors and seniors, and you got some NFL guys on that on that roster, and and you can and you can play. Yeah, 
The I got them two and ten. You got them two and ten. I got them two and ten. 